Let's do a custom rally. Custom Rally. milliseconds off of my best. Probably not going to be my best. It's actually going to be kind of interesting to see how my one shot ability, because this is a one shot, and the run that I've already got from the every track challenge is a one shot. So it's going to be interesting to see how this compares to those challenges. I do like that there's, there happens to be a logging truck because the start of that was in the logging truck, specifically a blue logging truck. So this track, can, the start of the challenge contains how the challenge started. I need to not hit smash. Uh, sugar. One, two, seven, five, three with a one. 
8 as my best. We are allowed repairs here. No, I had insane RNG earlier, mate. Like, god tier. God tier RNG, and then it just died. So now I'm doing the RNG just run, which just means I have to blame my skills for being shit. When are you going for top rank in uh, RR ratings, though? Hey Tukin, long time no see. How's it going? I'm not too bad. Broken heart from a. I'm gonna post a video of it because it's like honestly the best first split possible. Double Satona Island followed by double Orang Valley in my. Oh no. I don't think I've got that. 2.3 kilometer stage, 4.2 kilometer stage, whatever they are, in Indonesia. That was my first round. I then got for the second rally, the one you can't reset for, Finland. Decent. I think it was Lampy. Um, Lampy Palace. Uh, La Silla and uh, Javiari. I got a Javiari straight away. But I think that was it. Definitely the 6k, a 5k, a 4k, and an 8k. Which wasn't bad. I lost a bit of time. Dubious amount of time because I um, had to go get the door half. Ah, shit. Don't press continue. Ah, oh, fuck. I'll press continue. Oh, well. Oh, I should have paused that, actually. We'll get that after, it'll be fine. Get that for the splits page after. Um, yeah. So that wasn't too bad. Lost a bit of time on that, but was still ahead. And then couldn't get anything. Ended up taking in Australia a 5k and a 7.8k stage in Australia for my 1967 after spending two minutes resetting and getting junk that I couldn't take. It wasn't even like, like that was the best I had, I think. Didn't see Finland, didn't see Norway, didn't see Norway all run. Cause I had to reset a couple of times for 69, I think. Then I got Finland in the final and lost time to an 11 minute split on Finland. Like in my final four, uh, four track in 1970 I was like how did I lose time to that it wasn't much time but I should be able to post it out but yeah I'm gonna post the video because that is the best start you can possibly get there is no better four track 
just objectively, Indonesia has the fastest four four tracks in the game if you get that luck, which I doubt anyone has done because uh, it's been kind of quiet on the full game speedruns since Indonesia came out. Yeah, insane. Insane. So now I'm practicing my Finland because of that last track. I like it was a good one. It wasn't didn't have a Javier in it, so it wasn't too bad. Uh it was just a mid Finland and the fact that I couldn't pull it out in under eleven minutes. I need to practice my Norway cuts, but the fact that I didn't even get any Norway, like I didn't see Norway in so many resets, and I don't, and I wouldn't have, I didn't see Norway all day. I haven't seen Norway all day because I would have run it. So I think I did like eight resets on first track resets. Insane. But, you know, that's the belly of the beast. I got an insane run for my current PB within, well within what would normally be, like, for the RNG I got, I shouldn't have got it in the 35 or so runs that I got it in. I'm, I think I'm driving well though, because I was 0.4 off of my PB on Nor on, on Normaku on this run, which is like insane, because <laughs> I know I've time trialed that that in Group Two, like I've actually done reset time trials, so being bang on 0.4. In just a one shot he's pretty quick Oh yes, I should have sent it to you. Um, if you're still here, Tukan, I saw randomly got recommended by Twitch this uh, speedrun thing. It's um, a speedrun marathon specifically for really. It's called really really longathon, and it's specifically for really long categories of games that wouldn't normally get played. So the one that I got recommended into was uh, Mario Kart 8 all tracks all cc's so going through every grand prix in the game 50 cc 100, 100 100 150 150 mirror and 200 and it's like a nine hour run which seems like it'd fit for a hundred percent art of rally So I'm kind of looking 
looking at the dates because they've run it during kind of Christmas. Because I guess that's where most people can get, you know, holiday. Because you're going to need it. There's no one doing that in the evening or taking a half day. But yeah, I might thinking about submitting for that. Go until I think middle of October if I want to submit for it. And the nice thing about it being really long, a thon, is that I don't have to particularly be that good. Because it will be fine in the end, as long as I can look decent at driving. I was looking to sign up for some marathons, I found one that was... Um, We'll accept, you know, we'll accept any game, whatever, uh, but you have to be a world record holder in the category that you want to do. But like, an X world record holder is fine, but you must be in the, the... I think it was like, you've got to still be in the top 5 or 10, depending on how many people play it. And an X world record holder. I'm not, I'm not even fucking... Okay, so I can do any of this shit that I've got the world record for by being the only bugger to have done it. Any of these categories, but I can't submit to that for anything because I'm not a world record holder. It's actually quite rare that world record holders submit, at least for semi-popular games. And games with long histories. Oh shit. tends to be more up-and-comers that submit for marathons. Because submitting and practicing for a marathon is completely different to practicing and grinding for world record. Like if I was going to practice for a marathon run of this, of uh, career, group 2 career, I would be... I'd be, still be resetting but I'd probably be like, right, I'm going to play for an hour and a half and after whatever run I'm on at half an hour, I'm taking all the way to the finish. Every day. You know, and if I'm playing for longer, then I might start with a no reset run. If I'm going to play for two, two and a half hours at least, I might start with a no reset run and then say, okay, whatever run I'm banging on with at X time. Because it's different. You've got to be a. You've got to know the like learning the backup strats. There's people uh, that play Quake and Doom that probably don't even know the backup strats because there's some of those that have never played. Like they came into full game runs from having played the uh, single seg single maps. And they just simply don't know the backup strats because they were happy to grind out runs until they managed to complete the full strats. Slightly different for this because there's no backup strats, you just drive careful or a. Don't take the shortcut. The only advantage for Quake or Doom is that you need to know the backup strat, but you can still try the main strat and hope for the best. Uh, 
because in the marathon runs, in normal runs, saving and loading, not hap. Oh, fucking hell. Lagged when I hit that wall. Please free freeze up. Um, yeah, in the main runs, saving and loading, not allowed because demo integrity. Dying, also not allowed. But for marathons, you kind of need that safety, so most of the time people are saving before this difficult tricks. And then going for the backup strat if they die. Like the level I'm currently practicing in Quake. You can get halfway through it very easily. So you don't want to do a save right at the start of the level. You'll get through that perfectly fine, it's just avoid everything. Just run straight through. It's, it's easy. The second half has like four really difficult tricks in a row. Quake is a difficult game to run, I'm struggling with it. That's why I'm playing this right now, because I just did not have the brain power to learn the runs. Just throw my RNG. <laughs> throw my life to the RNG gods. Six. And then just flow, because I've learned the tracks, you know. I've already done the learning. I could do better learning. I do need to do better learning to, you know, watch some world records and study them. Study the lines. Pester some people that are decent at the game to record any group 2 demos. That's going to be the tricky bit. Try to pester fast drivers to send me group 2 runs that are fast. So that I can watch them and copy them. learn those strats. So that's how I do Mario Kart. Play through it, whatever. Then slowly learn each of the tracks in time trial. And then take a break and forget all the cool tricks that I learned. Yes, yeah, fine. <laughs> One, forty-five, six, nine, six. One, forty-five, six, nine, six. Oh yeah, of course it's not right. I was just, it's it's funny to see the precision errors of only having three digits to go off and the game adding it up to like nine or whatever decimal places. And I've only got the three, and the precision errors come through quite quick on my spreadsheet. But uh, it's completely off because I missed Lampy. Forgetting that I was doing this speedrun and could write it down. You know you've got close to a rock when a vegetation cutout comes up just to cover your front nose.
I'm leaning back in my chair because it's been a big day. 204960. I'm liking these new PBs. Especially now we're talking about having a, an overall rankings system. Yeah, that overall ranking system, and I'm gaining points. on the leaderboards then. Oh please be updating. Okay it's group two filling in the dry so like quite slow admittedly but there we go. Fifth. Take it. Don't take it. How hot's my GPU and CPU? Oh, they're fine. They're fine.
stick the landing. This is off to the left, I hope. Not that far. Right, further than that. Bring the inside of that. Four, oh, one, six, three, thirty, six, eight. Not bad, to be fair, for that spin. Let's be having it then. Damn it. This is going to be really slow. Hell, we're already past my time on my forwards version. And I think this is slower, but not that much.
absolute disaster and we'll have the Ari reverse. Three, 6.02 and the first one's faster, at least in my PB, 29.165, okay. Total is 2.42.253, two, two, oh, no, 29. Nice. 